Good morning, boys and girls. Well, we're going to dive into our reading lesson. So I want you to look at the screen and think about what we might be learning about today. I want you to also think about what we've already been learning. Um, I want you to think about what new place did we visit yesterday? What problem did the community have? And how might they solve their problem? Our learning target today is I can answer questions using key details about the solution in Out of Rebel from the book Off the Class. So that is our learning target today. So we're going to put up our magic bow, pull it back, aim at that target, and we're going to and aim for it. Ready? Three, two, one. So we're going to be looking again at the book Off to Class, but we're going to be focusing on that community in Haiti that we started reading about this week. Yesterday, we learned about a school in Haiti. And do you remember why it was hard for those children in Haiti to go to school? We learned that there was an earthquake that knocked down their school. So we're going to take a look at page 19 in our book, the part that I'm circling right here, and we're going to read about the tent schools. So the title says Tent Schools. In the days after the earthquake, groups like UNICEF save the children and plan international help schools that were damaged or destroyed, set up tents so that their students had somewhere to go for classes. They also had set up tent schools near camps for people who had lost their homes. When it rained, the tent schools flooded and children had to go home. But on good days, the schools were full. What was this passage mostly about? It was about how they had to set up the tent schools. What do you notice about the tent schools? If you take a look at the picture right here and at the other pictures, what do you notice? I notice that they're tents. There's a lot of children and desks in those tents. There's no walls. And also the tents look pretty big if you look closely at the picture. Now, the passage said that UNICEF um, helped the children. UNICEF is an organization that helps improve the lives of children, especially when a disaster like an earthquake happens. So what kind of things does UNICEF give to the tent schools? And how might these solve their problem? Okay, we're going to read in this sidebar about School in a Box. UNICEF also delivered hundreds of School in a Box kits. Each kit contains everything a teacher needs to set up a classroom. There's even a can of special paint that can be used to turn the box lid into a blackboard. Each kit has enough supplies for 40 students to get back into school, or at least for temporarily. UNICEF sends the kids all over the world to help kids get back to school after disasters like tsunamis and earthquakes. They also send kids to places where there were, where there were wars and to help keep kids um, for the, when there was a war and they couldn't get to school. So what were some of the things that they gave to the schools? Well, the, the box had things that they could use to set up their classroom. It even had special paint to turn the box lid into a blackboard. And there was enough supplies for 40 students. So it would be the things that they would need to help them learn, like paper and pencil and things like that. So what is the solution? The problem was that there was an earthquake and students couldn't go to school. But now they found a solution. A solution is what you can do to solve the problem. The children in Haiti are able to go to school because they have set up tent schools and organizations like UNICEF and say the children have helped the students. Let's keep reading. So we're going to read in the second chapter here, or paragraph, a little laughter. Knowing that the kids were dealing with a lot of strong emotions, teachers wanted to make sure the tent schools were a fun and safe place. Besides having standard classes like reading and math and French, they played games and sang songs. Teachers also encouraged students to talk about their feelings 
so that they could start healing. So what is this paragraph mostly about? It's about why tent schools are important. So why is this school important to, to Haiti? Well, it's a fun and safe place for kids to go. They're able to keep learning and have fun, and they can also share their feelings about the earthquake. Now we're going to take a language dive where we're going to look back into a part of the uh, text from the school in Brazil, and we're going to talk more about that phrase. So let me read the first paragraph to you on page 13, A Window to the World. In 2002, everything changed. Working with a group called the Solar Electric Light Fund, called SELF, the villagers brought in solar panels, computers, a satellite system, and a wireless internet equipment. They built a new school to house the panels and computer equipment. The internet opened up a whole new world of possibilities for the school and its students. They could access Brazil's online learning program, which gives them the chance to get a high school education without having to leave their village. And they had access to a whole world of information right in their classroom without the need for expensive textbooks. Of that text, and we're going to look at it a little bit closer and talk about what it means. So in that paragraph, they said that they could access Brazil's online learning program, which gives them the chance to get a high school education without leaving their village. Now, whenever you take a language dive, it's good to take that chunk of the text and break it apart into smaller chunks to make it easier to understand. So I'm going to do that for you now. Now, let's take a look at it. It says they. Who is this sentence about? It's about the children and families that live in Xixuao, Brazil. Could access Brazil's online learning program. and which gives them the chance to get a high school education without leaving their village. Let's talk more about that. Let's look at this second line. Could access Brazil's online learning program. Online learning program refers to classes or computer applications that are made to teach people. People need an internet connection to use them. Now this year, if you're a virtual student, you're using an online learning program to help you to learn. So you're sort of like some of the children that live in Brazil, where they are learning online. Now let's take the sentence apart some more. So, which gives them the chance to get a high school education. How does Brazil's online learning program solve the community's problem. The online learning program helps students to get a high school education and to learn everything that they need to know in grades 9 through 12. Now, it says to give them the chance. You may have heard that before, but what do you think that means? It means to have the opportunity to do something or the ability to do something that you couldn't do before. Can you think of something that we get a chance to do in school? Well, you get the chance to learn writing, to learn how to read, how to learning, learn to write cursive, how to um, learn about the different musical instruments. You have a chance, a lot of chances when you come to school or do virtual school. Alright, let's look at the last line, without leaving their village. What didn't the children have to do to get their education? They didn't have to leave their village. They could stay right there to learn. Now, what if I took the word without out of the sentence and I put the word while? Would that change the meaning? It sure would. It would mean that while leaving their village. So that means that they would have to leave their village to get their education. Now that we took the sentence apart, let's put it back together and reread it and see if it helps our understanding a little bit better after deconstructing it or taking it apart. So the passage said they could access Brazil's online learning program, which gives them the chance to get a high school education without leaving their village. 
Does that make a little bit more sense to you now? I sure hope so. Collaboration means working well with others to get something done. How did the people and groups in Port-au-Prince, Haiti, use collaboration? Well, they worked together to create the tent schools. Can you think of a time that you collaborated with somebody? Now it's time for us to write. Informative writing informs the reader using facts and details about a subject. So it is um, information that is true, it can be proven true, it's real, it's not a made up story. So we're going to be writing about what we have learned. So we will first need to write a focus statement. A focus statement introduces the topic. Then we will write information about the problem. It describes a problem using key details from the text. And then we're going to write information about the solution. It describes the solution using key details from the text. And then a conclusion, which reminds readers of the topic. So our learning target today is I can write about the solution in the section out of the rubble using details from the text. So that's our learning target. So let's aim for it. And we're going to master this objective and meet that learning target. So we have talked about um, the Rainforest School and we learned about different problems it had and the solution that um, it took. So some of the problems was it was a small school, you only got to third grade, it was hard for Emmanuel um, to get to Emmanuel, that other city uh, where school was for the older kids. There was no phones or electricity in their village. Now how did they solve it? So the solution is they built a new school with solar panels and then um, the new school has internet and computers. And this school is important because People uh, learn from people around the world. You can go to school in Shishwau now. There's classes for adults. And they learn to appreciate the reserve, which is where they live. So we can write about this, and here's an example. So in a rainforest in Brazil, it was hard for students to go to school, and the community solved their problem. That's our focus statement. So that will introduce a topic to let our reader know what our paragraph is going to be about. Now here is the problem. The problem is that the school, the small school, only went up to third grade. There was no electricity, so learning was more challenging. Now we're going to write about the solution. So they solved this new problem by building a new school. The new school has solar panels, computers, and the internet. Now all students can stay in their village and go to school. And then the conclusion is when you tell more about the topic. You're kind of reminding them. This is how the community solved their problem. All right, so that is how we can write an informative paragraph. So it's a paragraph that will teach others about um, that school. So now you're going to write um, the solution and the conclusion for Out of the Rebel. So here's a model. So this is like an example. That means you can use it to help you, but yours should not be exactly like this. So they solve this problem by building a new school. The new school has solar panels, computers, and the internet. Now all students can stay in their village and go to school. So now you're going to write your sentences about the solution. How did the school in Haiti solve their problem? Then you're going to write your conclusion statement. That is how the community solved the problem. So you're going to write your statement. It does not need to be, or it should not be exactly like mine. It can be close, but it cannot be exact. It needs to be your sentence, okay? So I want you to think about what you will write for your conclusion. And remember that when you're writing or typing your uh, information, you need to make sure that your sentences begin with a capital letter and sentences end with a period. Your parents may help you with the spelling of words, but it needs to be your writing and your thoughts. So remember, our learning target is that we are writing about the solution in the section of Out of the Rubber using, rubble 
using details from the text. So I cannot wait to read your responses. Let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.